We are here outside Jansmat's dining hall trying to hear how the students feel about this menu change. The Rhodes University decided to change their menu after the national outbreak of listeriosis. Not really impressed. I mean, I really like my chicken hot dogs and now they've replaced them with some weird like mutton type of sausage which doesn't always mm -hmm. taste very good. Yeah. I actually don't mind it too much. I mean, when they changed like the chicken viennas to like beef sausages and stuff, it was like, okay, because they were pretty lit. I actually like them, but the no bacon and giving us hash browns, I just feel like they're adding more potatoes to our diet. So, a nationwide outbreak causing one death in the Eastern Cape and nearly 23 others diagnosed. The university changed their menu and replaced affected products with other substitutes. Bacon was one of the products that was removed. What we did when uh, we got uh, informed about the, the mysterious breakout, we had to find out what um, what products we had on our menu that were going to be affected. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we had to um, basically look at our chicken Vienna and our ham as the two processed meat items, and then the other item that we looked at um, was bacon. Although bacon wasn't really a a serious offender, although it is an enterprise product. Mm -hmm. um, Although none of our products are from enterprise, we just, we just took it as a precautionary measure. Rhodes University joined the ban of Tiger Brands and Rainbow Chicken. This happened after the health department announced finding listeriosis bacteria in their ready-to-eat products. Basically, when it became a national um, outbreak, and, and obviously it was out in the news and things like that, then we had to do what uh, any rightful um, uh, service provider would do. It is quite evident that the students do not fully agree with the Rhodes University's decision to remove bacon from the menu. I am Lerato Nyandeni reporting live from Rhodes University, Grahamstown.